first full year as a professional triathlete, I, I won all my races and, and won the 753 World Champs. So yeah, it was a pretty big introduction to the sport, I guess, and also got me hooked. Then. The last two years have been a bit rough with, with injuries and 2014 I got a massage and walked out of there with a dislocated rib and torn pec. Got my head back into gear and, and raced Melbourne Ironman the next year and, and won that. Automatic slot to Kona, I'm, I'm back on top and I didn't know at the time but I'd broken a rib on my back. Yeah, just down in the dumps again. The doctors all told me your career's over, there's nothing we can do. Just with the breathing, it, it just wasn't able to heal. I was in tears every night, just going, what am I, what am I gonna do? I haven't even had a chance to race Kona. Right? I can't give up yet. And, and that's when we just kept searching and searching until I found a doctor that could do some pain management treatment. So the rib's broken still, but I can't feel it anymore. Is it a blessing in disguise? I don't know, but it makes me really want to give everything a real good shot now and I don't just want to compete at Kona, I want to win it. I guess in the first year it all just came so easy and you know if that kept happening maybe I would have got bored and retired by now, so um, yeah, the, the tough times make the good times even better. So this year I've just built up really slowly, changed my training around a bit, don't run as much, do a lot more strength work and back on top this year, won two European titles, so in good form. and. Hopefully I've got the formula right this time and I can stay in one piece and keep it together. Just don't know how long you got in this sport and I think that's what keeps you going. The injuries somehow kind of keep you more motivated.